In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. My name is Kenny Bomer, and this is the Ask a Muslim series, where we're answering the top 50 questions about Islam. Question number 15. Who was Muhammad? Muhammad, peace be upon him, was a descendant of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, and his son Ishmael, peace be upon him. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was from the prominent Arab tribe of the Quraysh. He was not the founder of Islam, but was the last messenger and prophet sent by Allah as a mercy for mankind. Every detail of his private life and public speech has been documented and carefully preserved up to this present day. During the 23 year period of his prophethood, he changed the entire Arabian Peninsula from paganism to the worship of the one true God, and from tribal warfare to national unity, from anarchy to disciplined living, from barbarism to the highest standard of moral excellence. At the time of his death, most inhabitants of Arabia and the southern regions of Iraq and Palestine had voluntarily embraced Islam. To posterity, he left a creed of pure monotheism that included comprehensive legislation based on a balanced system of moral values. No other man in history excelled in so many different aspects of life. He not only taught and established the religion, but founded a state, initiated numerous political and social reforms, built a powerful and dynamic society, and completely revolutionized the realm of human thought and behavior, all within just over two decades. His coming was foretold in previous scriptures, and he was described therein. To the honest and open-minded individual among the Jews and the Christians, they recognized him from those descriptions and believed in his message. But the message he communicated was not meant for a particular people, a particular place or period. It was a global message. Muhammad, peace be upon him, was appointed to instruct all of mankind and to invite humanity to the objective as did the prophets before him, to the worship of Allah alone and associating no partners or intermediaries with him. There is explicit evidence for the prophethood of Muhammad, peace be upon him. For as the revelation descended upon him, his companions noticed certain effects on his body. However, he never lost consciousness or showed any signs of illness. His life was protected by Allah during times of severe danger throughout the entire period of his prophethood until the divine message was complete. And like the prophets before him, Muhammad, peace be upon him, was supported by miracles but by far the greatest of them all was the Quran, an eternal miracle containing evidences for people of intellect for all time to come. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was chosen by our Creator, the Creator of the whole universe and of all of mankind to invite all people to correct the beliefs and the pure way of life preferred by him and to demonstrate the measures and methods leading to his acceptance. Allah spared no effort and no sacrifice in carrying out his duty for the benefit of mankind. And through the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Allah made known truth from falsehood and wisdom from error. And through the Prophet Muhammad, Allah showed mankind how to attain eternal paradise. And thus the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, directed humanity to the one divine source of values and rules of all conduct. And that is Islam. Again, my name is Kenny Bomer, and this is the Ask a Muslim series, where we're answering the top 50 questions about Islam. Thank you for listening.